Hello friends, welcome to Club Craft Area. If you are new to this channel, subscribe my channel by clicking the subscribe and bell button to get more videos. In this video, we are going to see how to crochet this beautiful doormat. For this, we are using yarn, crochet hook, cutter and a needle. This doormat looks so cute and beautiful. So if you see, this is the back part of the doormat and this is the front part. It looks so rigid and it's very easy to do. To do this beautiful doormat, we want to know the basic stitches like slip knot, chain, single crochet and slip stitch. So now let's see how to do this beautiful doormat. Start with a slip knot. The foundation chain can be any number of chain based on the length of the doormat we are going to do. Yarn over, pull through the loop. Yarn over, pull through the loop. Yarn over, pull through the loop. This is what we say it as chain. And the foundation chain can be any number of chain based on the length of the doormat you are going to do. After doing the foundation chain, it looks like this. Next, we are going to work on the third loop of this chain. So, this V shape is the chain. This is the front loop. This is the back loop. If you turn the work, you can see a bump like structure here. This is what we say it as the third loop. So, for this route, we will be working on this third loop. So turn your work, you are going to do single crochet on this loop. So you'll insert the hook in this loop. Yarn over, pull through the loop. You'll have two loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through both the loops. So this is what we say it is single crochet. So next stitch, you'll see a bump like structure here. Insert the hook in this loop. Yarn over, pull through the loop. You'll have two loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through next two loops. So likewise, you're going to do single crochet in each stitch till you reach the last stitch. So we are going to do single crochet in this third loop. After doing them, it looks like this. For next row, do chain 3, 1, 2, 3. Turn your work. We will skip this first stitch since we have done the chain 3 on this first stitch. For this row, we are going to work on this back loop. So in this chain, this will be the back loop. So we will be working on the back loops. So insert the hook in the next stitch in the back loops yarn over pull through the loop and pull through the other loop so do a slip stitch do chain 3 1 2 3 and do a slip stitch in the next stitch by taking the back loops back loop you are going to insert the hook yarn over pull through the loop and pull through the other loop so it looks like this this is the pattern which you are going to follow for this row by doing chain 3 1 2 3 and do a slip stitch in the back loop in the next stitch chain 3 1 2 3 and slip stitch in by taking the back loop of the next stitch insert the hook yarn over pull through the loop and pull through the other loop so you have to follow them till you reach the last stitch after doing them it looks like this for next row do chain 1 so turn your work if you see here, this is the loop which we left in the previous round. So this is the front loop. So we are going to work on the front loops. We will be doing single crochet on this front loop. So for this round, you are doing single crochet on the front loop. We have to do them till you reach the end. After doing them, it looks like this for next row. So now onwards, we are going to repeat these two rows. One row is a chain row and one row is the single crochet row. This chain row we will be working on the back loop and single crochet row we will be working on the front loop. So do chain 3, 1, 2, 3. Turn your work. You will skip the first stitch and in the next stitch you are going to do a slip stitch by taking only the back loops. Chain 3 and do a slip stitch by taking the back loop. Next chain 3. Do slip stitch by taking the back loops. So you have to continue them till you reach the end. After doing them, it looks like this. For next row, do chain 1, turn your work. We will be doing single crochet by taking the front loop which we left in the previous round. So likewise, we will be doing single crochet in the front loop till you reach the end. After doing them, it looks like this. So now you can see how the stitch looks. So it is very easy to do. You have to follow this two rows to get this beautiful stitch pattern. After doing them till the required size, the doormat looks like this. If you like this video, like, share, 
comment this video and also subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe and bell button to get more videos. Thank you friends.